Hey, what's up, party people? Comedian Ron G with another amazing home haircut tutorial. Let's get started. Show you what we got. See how the wilderness looks at the moment. All right, let's get started. I'm starting out with my Andis cordless T edges. Do that ball line. I never go all the way to the edge of my hairline because I want to make sure that I can do the C in the front part. Anyway, this is called a drop fade. Got to drop it right below your ear. I usually go right below my ear, clean up off my neck to make sure you can see that. I'm starting my first guideline. Now, I have my rose gold babbleless cordless clippers. Make sure you brush your hair down, smooth it out before you start cutting. I'm doing my first guideline about a half an inch up. Trying to go all around, smooth that thing out. All right, it's a little stubborn right here, but I gotta go over it a few more times. But nonetheless, I gotta turn my clippers around and make sure to get all that stubborn hair. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using my 3 16th guard to smooth that hair out. I gotta debulk it. Debulking is what you take off the excess hair before you start cutting, because sometimes if you fade without debulking, uh, your fade could be uneven. So I'm going against the grain and I'm trying to get rid of that first guideline by, I think I got on my 1 8th right now, and uh, I have it open and I'm going against the grain. So. I'm getting rid of both of those lines by using the corner of the blades. I got it wide open, and this is my little technique to smooth the hair out to make sure it's laying down as I fade it. Ooh, that's clean. Ooh, that's so cool. Look at that. All right, now I'm debulking with my 318 guard. I'm going over it before I start fading it. Now, forgive me for this angle because I had to make sure I get real close, but yeah, same process. I got my 1 8th, and I keep closing it, and I'm going over this part of my hair. This is always the hard part of my hair because my hair is so stubborn and it goes an odd direction where I can't necessarily fade it, but the fade is clean nonetheless. Look at that. Okay, check in with yourself. All right. Yeah, I'm extra close to the camera. I shouldn't be this close. You can see the pores on the back of my neck. Now, I got the clippers, no guard, trying to remove that line. Look at that fade. Ooh, that's clean. For a home haircut, that's incredible. That's at least $30 for a haircut. That's at least $30. All right, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get my hair to lay down. I got my 1 8th and I'm using the corner of the guard to make sure I debulk before I start fading. And yes, I'm making some weird faces. I hate the faces I be making. But it's my face. I can do it. I like my face. Anyways, all right. I am using my 1 8th wide open to go over that line that my 3 16th made. And what I do is continue to close the clippers until I make the line disappear. And like I said, it's my own little personal technique to make sure the hair is laying down. And I am using the side of the clippers Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that's at least $35 right there. That's a $35 haircut right there. Did it at the house. I got my 318s on and I'm going, I'm debulking the line between my fade and the top of my hair. Uh, I got it wide open to get off the excess hair to make sure it is debulked. My favorite part is getting that line too. So you can get the little corner right here. Look at the concentration. You see how I'm zooming in? The anxiety, you feel it? I'm trying to get that hairline right, get it crispy. Yeah, so you start in the middle, then you go out to the corners. Start in the middle, and you go out to the corners. I don't even think I'm blinking right now. My eyeball's gonna be dry. All right. Like I said, start in the middle, go out to the corner. Make sure this corner is solid, which it is. Look at that. Woo! Now I'm gonna try to get the other side. I think my whole forehead is shaped weird too. Anyway, uh, I try my best to do it. Like I said, go to the outside. Look at that corner. Ooh, that corner clean. And the other one, slow motion with it. Okay, all right. Now this is the C part I'm talking about. That's why I said I don't start my ball fade at the edge of my hairline because I'm making sure I get the C. The C is what I think makes the haircut pop, particularly with my head. I got a big forehead. The C helps, uh, I want to say, with the contour of my head shape. So yeah, I got to do the C. Now I'm cleaning up my mustache, getting a little excess hairs. My mustache hair is kind of stubborn so i gotta make sure i keep it moisturized and you see me lining that beard up you see that beard yeah okay okay you see the beard beard gang internship all right now i'm just getting a little light hairs around my lip line uh, i'm using the corner of the clippers not to press down too hard because you don't want to leave any marks oh nigga this is definitely a 95 dollar haircut bruh i'm telling you don't zoom in all right cool now i'm getting my cheeks so you can see the beard pop see the beard line pop you see <laughs> Don't judge me. All right, light skin with it. Let's do it real slow motion. Ooh, look at that fade. That is clean, okay. Light skin eyes. All right, and it's blurry in the background. You see that. 
Now I'm getting the hair off my neck. I'm trying to clean up, make sure there's no excess hair on my throat. Yes, I said throat. That's how we talk where I'm from. Sometimes you got to stretch the skin, pause, to get all the excess hair. And I'm going back over to see to make sure it's clean. Again, like I said, that's my favorite part of the hairline. This is definitely a $200 home haircut. With the beard too? I'm going back over right now, the fade to make sure it's blended properly. I always use the corner, a little scissor work. Make sure I line it up where the fade starts with my haircut. Nice, okay, look at you. Looking like yourself. I see you, me. Okay, I see you, me. Quarantine got me looking like a two-piece chicken dinner. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, now I'm looking like a winner. Know your worth, King. Oh, I am the prize. <laughs> oh, you see the baby hair. Maxwell with it. How does it feel? How does it feel? Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, look at that fade. Come on back to the camera. Okay, you gonna hit him with the body roll? Not the body roll. Off camera, where you going? Come on back. <laughs> I see you light skin. Hey, log off. Follow me, Comedian Ron G, on everything.